Okay, here is my attempt at uh, welding up this thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to braze it. What I did is I made some plates to hold everything together. Uh, this one's aluminum because it's uh, going to be in contact with, potentially in contact with the uh, brazing. What I plan to do is braze this side, remove this, and turn around and build up the other side uh, with uh, more bronze. This is steel because I didn't have any aluminum in that dimension readily available. So what I did is I uh, I beveled it off so I'll have more uh, contact area and uh, so I can you know bring that down flush when I'm done. And what I did is I left a little bit on there so everything lined up. I bolted it all together. I snugged it tight with a leather hammer and uh, or a leather mallet. So I have not really braised very many things, especially cast iron. Uh, so it'll be a learning experience. So I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, braise it up. I'll preheat it so that it's uh, not susceptible to cracking uh, when it cools down. I don't want it to become too brittle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandwich it in between some uh, fiberglass when I'm done and let it cool slowly. So here goes nothing. Here's my preheater. I'll get the trusty barbecue out. What I'll do is I'll uh, let it uh, get up to, I don't know, 500 degrees probably. And then uh, when it's up there, I'll let it sit for a little bit. I'll take it out and start freezing.
Okay, I've uh, stripped down the base and cleaned all the parts off. I give them uh, going over with the wire wheel and then I uh, clean them off with lacquer thinner. Hopefully that gets rid of all the grease and grime and everything and I'm gonna paint them. Okay, here, uh, here's the first coat of paint. I just sprayed the one side. I'm gonna let it set up for a while and I'll flip it over and paint the other side. Uh, the paint adhesion looks pretty good. It really brings out uh, the roughness of the castings, but it is protection. So uh, I'm quite happy with it.